Hey team, and thanks for stopping by the channel. Core Design Engineer, Brian Buckash here, and today we're talking about the newest core design from Ebonite. Ebonite brought the fire for the start of the league season, and it's the Ebonite Fireball, which contains a brand new mid-RG, medium differential symmetrical core that is wrapped in the HK22 version of the GB10.7 Pearl cover stock. So we're going to get into all that in one second, but first I just wanted to take a second to let you guys know you're going to see a new format from here forward. I'm only going to do the new core designs, not every product released from the brands of Brunswick. So if you happen to see a new core that's coming out, rest assured I'm going to put out some content on it. And if you see a ball that has the same core in it from a previous design, say they put a solid cover stock around a ball that was previously a pearl, uh, with the same core in it, then you can just jump back into history and look at the video that I did on that one previously. I'll do my best to backfill some of the core designs that I missed for you guys, but in the meantime we're going to jump right in with this brand new Ebonite Fireball. Now mid-RG 2519, effectively a 252 RG core, that means it's going to be medium revving, it's not going to start right at your feet, but it's certainly not going to wait till it gets way down the lane on like super high friction before it gets revving and an 039 total differential so that's right in the middle so this is like traditionally what you would consider benchmark in terms of core numbers mid medium rg medium differential that's going to equate to medium revving and medium flare potential so usually if you have like a slightly sanded cover, maybe a hybrid cover or something like that, you'd use that as a benchmark ball. But here we have a highly compounded pearlized HK cover. So it's gonna be a little cleaner for those slightly drier lane conditions, but offering that strength of cover in a you know very reasonably priced performance product means that you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. So let's jump right in and talk about the features of this brand new core, starting with the inner core body. You'll notice that this is a one piece inner core body that has a pretty large core volume. And because it's kind of massive around the belt line, that means it's height to width ratio isn't extremely different, meaning that it's not extremely tall relative to its width. So that's why you have a medium differential out of this core. It's got a bell flare at the bottom. And as you know, the Ebonite line has had performance pucks on the dot balls in their high performance line at the bottom of the core. And in the Game Breaker series, of course, all the way up through the GB4s now, they've always had pucks at the top and those add differential. So what this bell flare at the bottom is doing is it's concentrating mass away from the center of mass of this inner core, just like those high density pucks are. But because this is a lower price point, we were able to do it in a single body with a single density, um, but still give you that same kind of luxury of having mass concentration away from the center of mass and that helps the ball become kind of unstable and the destabilized version of this core when you first release it is going to want to seek its axis faster it's going to want to rev up more quickly and more consistently for you um, so that's the added benefit there now being a lower price point single density inner so everything's the same you don't get 100% of the benefit of like the high density pucks that you see in some of the higher priced performance options, but the concept and the technology is still there. So that's one new thing that you're seeing out of this core design that hasn't been in the mid or lower mid price point in Ebonite in quite some time. So this is a symmetrical ball, zero intermediate differential, which means the axis, if you spin this core about the pin axis, it's the same all the way around, zero intermediate diff before you drill into it. But this core body is relatively large for a low price point core. Of course, this outer core, despite the fact that this is a lower price point core, this is still got dynamic core in it. Dynamic core, of course, is slightly better material in the outer core for slightly harder hitting power at the pins. And all of that's wrapped in the brand new HK22 version of the GB 10.7 cover stack. Now that's a mouthful, but all that's to say the base chemistry is HK22. And you're seeing that across all the brands of Brunswick. And they brought in the additive package that we've seen time and time again in the Game Breaker series and going way back to the original ones before they were re-released as remakes. That additive package now finds its way into the HK cover base that has been so wildly successful. And all of this, your HK cover, 
your dynamic core in your brand new inner core with the bell flare at the bottom is all wrapped in a ridiculously reasonably priced brand new bowling ball, fireball. And it looks great too. Gold, red, I mean, how can you go wrong with a, this perf level of performing product for this price? So this is gonna be one that you want to use at the end of the day, at the end of your block, if you're a rev dominant player, you might be able to use it as a benchmark ball, maybe knock the sheen off of it. You could even use it on fresh. If you're a speed dominant bowler, you're gonna to wanna to shy away from this one, except for those toasty conditions. Maybe you bowl on a wood surface or you just uh, see very little volume in the area you bowl in. Some parts of the country's put very little oil down, even as fresh oil. So this ball is gonna excel and shine for the low rev players in that environment. For the high rev players, I think you'll see a lot of versatility and a lot of utility out of this ball. And for the players who are in between, probably a step or two down from your benchmark ball, a slightly cleaner and I would call it arcing, hard arcing, but not necessarily angular back end motion that you're going to get out of this ball it means it's going to give you a lot of predictability in the fresh, or excuse me, in the burn. So when you send it to the right or send it out, you aren't going to see it overreact majorly off the friction. It's going to respond to the friction well, but it's not going to jerk off the friction. So that predictability, again, is what makes it a good breakdown ball after your first or second ball in your bag, because you need a little bit of stability in all of that friction. The Fireball from Ebonite. Check it out, ebonitebowling.com. While you're here, make sure you like and subscribe, Bowling Buckosh on YouTube and on Facebook. And of course, if you have any questions about this core or any of the cores in the current Ebonite lineup, feel free to drop a comment below. Until next time, talk to you later.